So therefore, what I would recommend is to develop like an, an industrial park somewhere in, in West Nile, near the power, so that people don't have to come looking for land, begging, all that, wasting people's time. These people have got other places to go. If you don't handle them well, they go to other places. Uganda is not the only place on, on earth. So the leaders get some land where there is an industrial park. Uh, then we may, it may move quickly to consume the 90 megawatts. Now, after the 90 megawatts is consumed, what do we do to increase it? We are, there, is, there is Kiba site. There is Oriang site. We are giving all those sites to people to, to, to develop on the Nile. And then we have the geothermal in uh, the, the Lekarbat area, the geothermal. I think that one has got like 1,500 potential. 1,500 uh -huh. potential, the geothermal from underground. And then we have the solar, as they are saying, they have already put some, some solar here. There is some other solar in Bulambudi, in, in eastern Uganda, of 200 megawatts. And we shall continue with the, uh, the solar. And then finally, we are working also on the nuclear, nuclear power station. Two of them, one by Russia, another one by South Korea, will produce, I think, a total of 15,000. I worked so hard, and I got an American group called, uh, I think, American Energy or something like that. They were going to develop Bujagari on a private basis, and then we agreed. For me, I didn't have any problem with uh, anybody developing power, provided we agreed on the price of the power. And we had agreed with American Energy on 4.9 cents. This is on record, 4.9 American cents. They had, we had agreed. Then you can check that debate in, in that parliament, and you, you check who are the members of parliament. When we, when we took it to parliament, parliament blocked it. Blocked with Jagari. That's how we got into, into a deficit, into lagging behind. So now we had to come in and do like, uh, like uh, firefighting. We developed now the new power station to the east of the Nile, to, of Jinja. The one we call, the one on the west is called Naruvare. The other one is called Chihira, using the own forest down. So there, we're able to add 200 megawatts, was giving just 380 megawatts. But if Bujagar had not been interrupted with, and you really should find out those people, because we can't go on like this. Actually, sometimes I feel, should I go back to the bush and do some damage to something, or what? That's where the problem was. It was caused by parliament. You check that parliament. The, the date, those are there. The dates are there. The, the answer is there. You can see who was talking nonsense there. So that's how we lost time. By 2005, by that time, we had surplus power. And the economy developed very fast. I think in 1995, we were able to hit like 11% of growth. But now, because of the sabotage by parliament, by members of parliament, against our advice, against our begging, please begging, begging, lobbying, as if we are, you are going to build my house or my crowd or what. 
But because of the energy fund, we started, I started discussing with the Chinese to build the Karuma and the Simba. Initially, we, we, we wanted to pay all of, all, all of it ourselves from our budget. But along the way, the Chinese, the ambassador, the one who was here, said, no, Exim Bank of China can extend a loan on this. So that's how we ended up building the Simba, 183 megawatts, Karuma, 650 megawatts, and so on. And then in the meantime, we also built something on, Aya on Agago River uh, with some other group, 88 megawatts. So this is the power you are now talking about, which is now here, the generation. So first, really stop misleading our people, telling them lies. Lies, lies is not leadership. But in the meantime, there was another problem. The pro apart from the problem of generation, there was the problem of consumption. Consumption in